Well, hello again, everybody. Um, as you probably know, some of you know me already, um, and my background is in traditional Chinese medicine. And I help my clients to improve their energy and productivity and to clear their stress. These are the main things I'm finding that business owners and people that work with me are struggling with most. So I wanted to share with you today a little bit of the philosophy and methodology that I use to help my clients. So a little bit of a point of difference. Um, being a holistic health coach enables me to do things slightly differently with this background. So I don't know whether many of you know this image here. This is the Vitruvian man. And I really love this image because it describes something that is fundamental to the principles of Chinese medicine. And that is the theory that, that we are a microcosm within a macrocosm. So what do I mean by this? Well, basically, it means that um, man itself or the hu human uh, human beings are a universe in themselves. Um, and they have um, all they have with, within their body, their mind, their spirit to achieve everything that they want to achieve and find that harmonious balance, just like the universe itself operates in a harmonious balance. It finds its own balance within within nature. So basically, this really means that we have a connection. We have a connection to the wider universe. And we are basically made up of energy that mimics the universe. And the universe is made up of energy that mimics us. So in essence, this is really important because what that's saying is that from the energy that we have, we can create anything that we want to create. And why that's important is that we we obviously were created, we were born, we are we are created in the world, but actually what we then create within ourselves reflects the world that we live in. So that's a really, really important point when I work with my clients. Some um, This goes way back to sort of ancient philosophers like Plato, uh, Confucius. So it's really ancient. And this is why it's a really old diagram. I think there should be another one there with a, with a woman as well, Vitruvian woman. Um, but, you know, this just shows how, how old and ancient this philosophy is. But yet it's still true nowadays. And um, it sort of resonates with um, what we now know as quantum physics in the study of energy. So why is this important in my work? Um, basically, this just reflects all the different things that impact our energy. So um, there's a lot of a list here. I apologize for the huge list, but it just goes to show that um, energy really is everything. It is everywhere. It's within us. It's around us. It's our thoughts. It's our feelings. It's how we act, how we communicate. It's the air we breathe, the food we eat. It's the music we listen to. It's the vibrations that we send out into the world. So obviously on the left hand side, you hear you see here that there's positive things that can add to our energy. So things that um, are going to send us on a higher vibration. So that higher vibration really helps us to feel happier. And why is that important? Well, when we're happier, we're just more productive, aren't we? We just live a healthier, happier life and we spread that around. So we're sending that out into the universe to make it a better place. So basically what I'm saying is here we have things that can really enrich and um, enforce our energy or reinforce our energy. And on the right side, we've got things that can take it away. So um, on the right side here, um, I've, I've highlighted unhealthy weight, stress and poor sleep, because they are the three things that continually come up for my clients as as three pain points for them, three things that I really help to offer them solutions for. And you can see there's all sorts of things on the right hand side here, um, things like um, depression and anxiety, things like overwhelm, things like loneliness, um, obviously things like food. Um, so food can give us energy, but it can also take energy away from us, depending on what food is best for you. So how I work with people really is I get to understand who they are. So who they are and where their energy is right now. So what are the thoughts going through their mind? What are the behavioral patterns that are contributing to their um, disease or their their energy levels or their their, their, their feeling stuck? Um, so by, by getting that understanding and helping them to understand where they are with their energy, we can then look at a bespoke solution for them. And that will um, obviously look at things that uh, they can do for themselves with with food and with movement, um, with a sleep routine, um, with 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 their work, but also their environment. 
So um, many of you probably know that I worked um, for a short, short spell, an internship in China as well. Um, and this has been an interest of mine for many, many years. And it, I, I also got to see a, a part of feng shui and how feng shui and our environment can impact on our energy as well. So part of what I do, as well as helping a person look within at their own universe, is look at the immediate environment they're in as well, because we can get really great energy from other people. And we can also get energy sucked out of us by people as well so it's really important to understand what environment what your environment is doing to your energy as well as the things that you are creating inside your own being so why is this important um okay so moving on oh it won't move on there it is go back a bit I've jumped on too far sorry guys so why is this important well it's basically important for many reasons not least because I said you know energy to me is everything so if you have good energy you're going to be basically having more space more time um for your for your business for your relationships because you're going to get things done in a different way so I work differently I work on the body mind spirit and space all together so my clients um, sign up for a minimum of 90 days with me. And that is really because we look at mindset and we look at changing things over a period of time that can't um, necessarily be done overnight. So it is about habit changing. It is about understanding why patterns of behavior are there in the first place. But obviously I do this in a way that takes into account everything. So I look at their lifestyle. I look at their food. I look at their movement. I look at their work their relationships, their medical history, whether they have any illnesses, any pain, um, and, and, and all of that. And it really goes back to childhood as well when we do these um, holistic um, energy assessments. So this way I get, it's a little bit like playing detective, I get a real picture of what's happened to that person up to the point that they come to me for help. Because actually, even though history's gone, we can't really change it. It does actually give a lot of clues as to um, what, what this person can do to actually make the adjustments is going to make a big difference to their their energy <laughs> excuse me so after that initial holistic assessment where we've looked at everything that is when we put together or I put together a package of support for that person which includes um, coaching mentoring and accountability which for a lot of a lot of my clients I have to say they they that is the biggest part for them there are other elements obviously that I will put in there like nutrition and help with food but most of us I think really know what we need to do we know what food is good for us um, we know we need to move we need to we need to have uh, more connection with ourselves we need to find peace and tranquility we know that all these things benefit us what I find is that people even though they know that they have that knowledge they are still stuck so they still can't find a reason why it's not happening for them. So this is where the coaching and the mentoring and accountability really, really is important for my clients because it's helping them to really understand why, what's getting in the way, what is the real issue for them in why they're not having this fantastic energy and they're not living the happiest, healthiest life that they could. Just under so, two minutes left, Marie. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, so basically, the nutrition element is is um, based on the energy assessment. So not all food gives everybody the same energy. So eating salad doesn't help everybody lose weight, for example. And why is that? Because we all have a different energy, uh, energetic um, composition at different points in our lives. Um, and that may not change very much, but it's it's a great place to start with food giving us energy and food taking energy away. Movement, again, it's not just about thrashing out at the gym and, uh, you know, trying to get this perfect body. It's about what movement is going to suit that person is at this point in their life to give them the right balance. So connection and balance um, is really important um, in terms of finding that happiness, that equilibrium that the body, mind, spirit really, really thrives on. So it is really bespoke. They're natural solutions. Like I said, I've been working for 12 years now with Chinese medicine and with people to get these amazing results. And why is it important for your business? This is a really important point. Why am I waffling on at a network meeting about energy? Because, well, we all need energy for a start, but with an increase in energy, you are more likely to be productive or more productive. So you will have better, uh, make, make better use of your time. You will have better decision making because you'll be more focused and clear, clear headed. Um, and of course, with your communication, when your communication is energized or when you have the energy to put into improved customer service, that surely is going to um, create more income and customer loyalty and repeat business. 
I work with a lot of creative entrepreneurs as well. Um, and obviously creativity is an important part of all of our work. But even more so, when your energy is good and you're operating on that higher vibration, then you are more likely to be creative, come up with new ideas, create innovation for your business. So all of these reasons are a reason for increasing your energy because you'll have more in income, you'll have better health, better relationships, and ultimately more happiness. So that's in essence how I work. And I just wanted to leave you with seven natural ways to increase energy. I've got loads more, but these are quite, you can take a pick and mix from this because um, there's a few here and we can go in, in, into more detail if you wanted to ask a question about them. But I wanted to just leave you with these. Take one, I would just say, take one out of those that you can easily implement into your into your daily life and, and just check how it feels with your energy. And, and I, I guarantee it will make a difference if you stick with it. Um, so um, I think that that's it, guys. Just wanted to leave you with that. If you want to screenshot it and just take that away, that's absolutely fine. Um, thank you for listening. And if, if anybody's got any questions. Oh, the other thing is I just wanted to offer um, a holistic energy assessment complimentary to you guys. Come and have a chat with me. It's a quick half hour run through your energy and I might be able to give you some hints and tips from there as well. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you so much for that, Marie. I'm sure everybody um, can take something from that and make some kind of positive improvement for themselves. Can you stop sharing for me, please, my lovely? And I will What's stop record. Actually, I won't stop recording just in case. We've got time for one very quick question. Um, so has anybody got a quick question at all? Um, more of a more of a comment. Okay. Um, just off the back off, straight off the back off the social media posts, Marie, that you've been putting out, I started taking a lot more uh, care of the basics like the list and last Thursday it was at the last network meeting we had I realized that my energy levels have gone up I was like oh this is a, I don't feel tired and it was like I said straight off, straight off the social media place that you said so right what did you do Prem what was it that made a difference for you everything that mummy and daddy said when I was a kid which is like <laughs> drink more water and early to bed early to rise uh, but being really aware of it really and yes set alarms and not being on the tablet before going to bed you know so i'd start a sketchbook now which i've been doing for a couple of weeks and it Excellent. does have a knock it has got a profound knock and effect on everything else so, yeah. it does it does thank you prem thanks for sharing that's fantastic well done well done